Every car on the road is made up of tens of thousands of individual parts. I'll tell you at least the names and functions of the main parts in the vehicle. Let's get to it. Car battery. A critically important part of your car's electrical system, the battery starts the engine when you turn the key in the ignition. It provides a backup source of power for in-car electronics should the alternator need help. You won't be able to fix a battery yourself, but you'll be able to charge or jumpstart a battery low on charge or buy a replacement if it's corroded or faulty. Car Distributor They direct high voltage from the ignition coil to the spark plugs as and when needed. Although many modern cars don't actually have distributors, for those that do, they're a key component of the ignition process. Car Alternator while the battery takes care of actually starting your engine, the alternator powers all the other electronics that keep your car running like headlights and windscreen wipers. Your alternator also keeps the car battery charged. Car Radiator An integral part of your engine's cooling system. The radiator prevents your car from overheating by cooling down hot coolant coming from the engine before sending it back in. Car Thermostat just like your thermostat at home, the one in your car helps regulate the temperature of your engine, managing the flow of coolant as needed to let your engine warm up faster or cool down if it's overheating. A spark plug. A spark plug is part of your car's ignition system, providing the spark that sets off the combustion in the engine which allows your car to move. An ignition coil. Another important part of your car's ignition system, the ignition coil supplies the high voltage, around 30,000 volts, the spark plugs in your engine need to create a spark. Car tires. Your car's tires are the rubber inflated rings that encircle your wheels. They're the only point of contact your car has with the road and from sharp cornering to the plague of potholes, they put up with a lot on a day-to-day -day basis, so you should look after them. Shock Absorbers An important part of your suspension, shock absorbers do what their name suggests. They absorb shocks from bumps, potholes and other road defects to help keep your tires in contact with the ground at all times. This also provides a comfortable driving experience for you and your passengers. Car Brakes Clearly, one of the most important safety features, brakes slow your vehicle or bring it to a stop when pressure is applied to the brake pedal. An engine air filter. Your engine's air filter prevents any debris or dirt getting into it and shouldn't be confused with the cabin's air filter, which stops dust or pollen from entering the cabin through the air conditioning and heat vents. Catalytic converter. It essentially clean up your car's exhaust fumes, greatly reducing the harmful hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide your car releases into the atmosphere via its exhaust pipe. Clutch. For vehicles with manual transmission, the clutch connects the engine and transmission to make sure a car moves smoothly through the gears. Vehicles with automatic transmission have a different mechanism for achieving this. Gearbox. Also known as the transmission, the gearbox transmits the power generated by the engine through sets of gears to the road wheels. Car water pump. Part of your engine's cooling system, a water pump circulates the coolant around the engine, where it absorbs heat, and through the radiator. This ensures the engine runs at its optimum temperature and prevents it overheating. An air conditioning compressor. The aircon compressor is an integral part of the air conditioning system, compressing the coolant before it goes into the condenser and helping to cool down your cabin. A front axle is a component of a vehicle that is located at the front and is responsible for supporting the weight of the front part of the vehicle, facilitating steering and absorbing shocks due to road surface variations. The front axle has four main parts, which are the beam, the swivel pin, the track rod, and the stub axle. The whole point of the muffler is to keep your ride nice and quiet. How does it do that? Well, it uses these cool things called baffles or other materials to reduce or muffle the sound. Basically, the muffler is that thing right before the end of your exhaust pipe. It's in charge of toning down the noise coming from your exhaust system. It kinda slows down the flow of the exhaust gases, making your ride way quieter. 
A tailpipe is basically the pipe in your car that carries all that smelly exhaust fumes from the muffler or catalytic converter to the back of the vehicle. You've probably seen it sticking out at the back. Their all exhaust gases have their big outlet. A fuel tank, also called a petrol tank or gas tank, is like a safe container for flammable liquids, usually gasoline or diesel fuel. It's not just any fuel storage tank, it is usually a specific part of an engine system. The cooling system has three important jobs. First, it's all about kicking out that extra heat from the engine. Nobody wants an overheated engine, right? Second, it makes sure the engine stays at the perfect temperature to work its magic. A drive shaft, also called a propeller shaft, is a component of a drivetrain in a vehicle whose purpose is to transmit torque from the transmission to the differential, which transmits this torque to the wheels to move the vehicle. Drive shafts are primarily used to transfer torque between components separated by distance because different components must be in different locations in the vehicle. A gear stick, gear lever, gear shift or shifter, more formally known as a transmission lever, is a metal lever connected to an automobile's transmission. The term gear stick mostly refers to the shift lever of a manual transmission, while in an automatic transmission, a similar lever is known as a gear selector. The oxygen sensor is responsible for measuring how much unburned oxygen is in the exhaust. It communicates with your vehicle's electronic control unit to help figure out what the right air-to-fuel ratio should be for the best engine performance. Through monitoring these oxygen levels, the oxygen sensor performs the important role of measuring this mixture, so that the fuel injection system can adjust accordingly. Oxygen sensors can tell the ECU whether a fuel mixture is too lean, meaning there is too much oxygen, or too rich, not enough oxygen. Electronic control unit is a device that controls all the electronic features in a car. This may range from fuel injection to maintaining perfect cabin temperature to controlling braking and suspension. Some vehicles have multiple ECU controlling different features while some have one controlling everything. An airbag is a vehicle occupant restraint system using a bag designed to inflate extremely quickly, then quickly deflate during a collision. It consists of the airbag cushion, a flexible fabric bag, an inflation module, and an impact sensor. Headlights are one of the most essential parts of the car when driving down a dark and dingy road. It helps to light the road ahead, warns the oncoming traffic about your presence, and does much more. Fun fact at the end. Robert Anderson created the first electric-powered vehicle in 1832. Then, in the 1990s, General Motors produced the EV1, otherwise known as the first mass-produced electric car. That'll be all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll be glad if you write in the comments section or give me a thumbs up.